Aggregation and composition are both strong forms of association. They both describe the relationship between a whole and its parts. So, instead of a has-a relationship, as in simple association, we're dealing with a relationship that says is part of, or reading the relationship in the other direction, is made of. So, examples of this kind of relationship might include a band that is made up of musicians, a catalog, that's made up of products, or a building that's made up of rooms. So in each case you can say a band is made of musicians, or reading the other way, a musician is part of a band. A catalog is made of products, or a product is part of a catalog. A building is made up of rooms, or a room is part of a building. You show aggregation with a special connector, and it looks like this. It has an open diamond connected to the hole. We tend to put the hole on the left and the part on the right, but when we read it is part of, we read it this way. A musician is part of a band. And we can do the same with catalog and product, and building and room. And if we want, we can add our multiplicity so that we have one or more musicians are part of a band. Uh, one or more products is part of a catalog, and so on. Now composition is an even stronger relationship than aggregation. To test for whether you're dealing with composition, use the no sharing rule. And this rule states that in a composition relationship, the part can belong to only one whole. So let's look at our examples. Can a musician belong to only one band? No, that's not true. A musician can belong to a number of different bands. Let's make our multiplicity reflect that. Same with the product catalog relationship. Any particular product could appear in a number of different catalogs. But let's look at what happens when we come to this last relationship between a building and a room. Can a room belong to more than one building? Or do we have the no sharing rule at work? Here, this relationship is better described by composition than by aggregation. We show composition with a similar connector but instead of an open diamond, we have a filled-in diamond. So, a composition relationship states that in this relationship, the part can belong to only one whole, no sharing. Related to that, if the whole is destroyed, then the part that makes it up is also destroyed. So if you destroy a building, you destroy the rooms that are in it. On the other hand, with aggregation, that's not necessarily true. If a band breaks up, the musicians that were part of it can go on to do other things to form other bands. So with an understanding of aggregation and composition, you should be able to read this simple class diagram. Remember, we're talking about parts and wholes. So we have one or more faculty members are part of a committee, and this committee has a reflexive relationship with itself in the form of a subcommittee, so one or more committee members may be on one or more subcommittee. Down here, we have a composition relationship between policy and rule. Rules make up or compose or are part of a policy. This is a strong relationship. If the policy is destroyed, the rules are gone as well. Notice that we can't have an aggregation or composition association between, for example, committee and policy. It wouldn't make sense to say a policy is part of a committee or a committee is made up of policies. We do, however, have an association between those classes. The committee formulates the policy.
So this diagram shows how aggregation and composition, as well as association, can show a variety of relationships between various classes, especially to express a part-whole relationship.